Welcome to The Popish Plot. I'm Jessica. It's time for another Summer Book Club episode, this one on Working Out. Now, if you've been following the book club, a number of Catholic YouTubers are reading The Handbook for Catholic Moms, and down below in my description, there'll be links to everyone else's um, thoughts on this particular chapter. Now, go down below and look at it, because I already know at least one of the fellow YouTubers is really into the topic of fitness, and so she should have a really great video. Now, she might have a great video on fitness and activities. However, I, like many people, am not the best at sports. Growing up, our state requires you to take a high school level gym class. Our gym teacher said at the beginning of the year that it's pretty much a pass-fail. You show up, you do the activities, you get an A. You skip class, you show up and then don't do anything, you fail. Somehow I got a B. The gym teacher went and looked at my ability to do these activities and said, yes, she's done the activities. Yes, she shows up. But I cannot in good conscience give her an A in this class. She is that bad at sports. And growing up, we also watched sports as a family. However, my dad and pretty much every single man in my dad's family has or is either a mechanic or a truck driver. So we watched sports that involved car races, car crashes, cars in other vehicles attempting to pull things. So we'd spend an afternoon turning on the NASCAR race, going about our day until we got to the final laps and then seeing who won because watching the majority of a NASCAR race is very, very boring as it's just cars spinning around. We'd go to tractor pools and demolition derbies, which is exciting and fun, but it does not require any great physical fitness on the part of anyone taking part in it. So I, I was not one of those people who grew up playing sports all day. Every time I go to the doctor, she's always like, so what do you do for fitness? And I tell her I play Pokemon Go. And then she says some stupid remark about how, what, people still play that? And, and I try to remind myself that I shouldn't insult her to her face because not a lot of doctors in my area take my insurance. And along with that, which I don't tell her that during the winter you largely can play completely from inside your car, especially if you get a few people, so one person's driving places and one person's in charge of actually handling your phones. Because again, do not drive while playing games. I also, about a year, year and a half ago, was hanging out with a cousin and he got us into disc golf, which I have not played a lot of. I'm quite bad at it. But occasionally we'll throw a disc or two around when we're hanging out together. And we also decided to do something that we called the MacGyver P Golf Disc League. As we worked on making our own disc. Using paper, tin foil, paper clips, and of course, duct tape. Which, oddly, although these ones are not the best, most balanced discs you can get, as they are handmade, I can throw better with these ones than I can with the actual professional ones. So it's a fun activity and it's a sport. And it involves lots of walking to pick up my disc because I threw it way off in the bushes because I have horrible aim. I also went and found a program, which I think I might have briefly mentioned in an earlier episode on productivity. It is something that I found out about due to my friend's podcast on productivity in which, along with having a list of your own day-to-day -day activities that you can put in to remind yourself, oh yes, on Thursday I have to get the trash together because Friday is trash day, and on the 1st, 15th, and 20th of every month I have to pay bills and things like that, there's different challenges you can do. And these challenges range from a wide variety of things. Some are health and fitness, some are organizational, and some are in various other categories of things. And each month they'll have different monthly challenges. And for the last couple of months, I've been doing two monthly challenges. One which involves watching television or, you know, other short shows. I usually watch YouTube as we don't watch a lot of network television in which you are standing up during the show. And another one is watching a whole movie while, again, not sitting during it. So although I can watch TV and sit and read a book and do other quiet, not active activities, Standing during an entire hour and a half, two hour movie, you, you start doing things. It makes you take the actual thought of being active and doing things. So 
Although not every single activity I'm doing while watching these shows and movies would count as working out. Quite often it's things like, I will watch a show by putting away groceries or doing the dishes. It's still a way to make sure that you're spending time being active and not sitting down too much every day. Although, this book in this video, as it's going to be shown to the public, must of course have the important note that before you do any exercise thing, talk to a doctor or other health professional first to make sure that you are healthy enough to do what you want to do and there's no complications or issues. Which, for the longest time whenever I read this in the book, I thought, what doctor in the world is going to be like, no, no, do not get healthy and work out. This is a horrible idea. However, I have a friend who was told by her doctor, no matter what you do, do not work out due to various medical issues that it would complicate until she got those results. In fact, I have a lot of friends that have different medical things that is so odd. I, I thought about writing a book about strange medical advice, like don't exercise, eat something and then go right to bed eat all the junk food, and other things that my, you know, various friends and family members have had given to them as medical advice. That is legit medical advice due to the fact that I know a number of people who, there's an old saying about how when you hear hoofs, things horses, not zebras, meaning if someone could have a cold or a rare disease that only 10 people have, they probably have the cold. I know the zebras. So make sure you don't say to yourself, well, this is great. I should start working and immediately run a marathon get proper checks up first and go slowly into a big goal. And speaking about going slowly into your exercise goals, the book also gives you a large amount of different ideas on how you can do either conventional workouts, like check to see if a local area has a fitness class that you're interested in, and unconventional workouts, like the fact that if you're out biking or going on nature hikes, you're working out even though you're there because you want to see the scenery or you're looking at all the different birds or some other unrelated to exercise thing, that this is still exercise. And as always, the book ends with homework and resources. And the homework is, again, largely about finding and sticking to a workout routine. It has things like blocking out three periods of time in your calendar to do physical activities, at least 15 minutes of time. And then it points out to, you know, various government regulations suggesting how much exercise one should get in a week. It includes looking up fitness activities that your library or your community college might have, and keeping a log so you can just keep track of how much you actually are doing, as you may find that you're thinking that you're not doing any working out, but you're doing many things that count as a workout along with some activity that you like or have to do. I mean, I, I was reminded reading this that I need to work on strength training simply because when my kids were little, I was, you know, picking up between 20 to 50 pounds more than one time a day for long periods of time simply from carrying the kids. And it also has web resources on this. So make sure to check all the links down below. Look at their videos. I'm sure they'll have a lot more things about like their actual routine besides this is made out of paper mache and duct tape. And this one is cardboard and duct tape. This one has paper clips in it because you can't do a MacGyver thing without using paper clips and tape in something. And make sure to hit the like button because I was never valedictorian and it was totally because I was that bad at gym. Not because I did my algebra homework during French class, and I did my Spanish homework in French, and in French class we did things like count how many holes there were in the ceiling, but then answer in French. Which is probably part of the reason why I'm very bad at languages today. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you'll be notified when our next episode airs. Again, the Summer Book Club ones air on Monday and Thursday, and our other episodes air throughout the week depending on what the topic is. And until next time, Remember to live your faith, love your faith, share that love.